What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher, and today we're going to be talking about Easter eggs, specifically Easter eggs in the Call of Duty World War II beta. Now, four of the five Easter eggs in this video are going to be Spotify barcodes that are in the game, hidden throughout each of the maps, but we're also going to talk about the meaning behind all of the barcodes as well. However, there was one Easter egg that I found that is not one of the Spotify bar tags, and that's the one we're going to look at first. So, if this is the kind of video you guys enjoy and want to see more of these when the full game is released, all you have to do to show me is by hitting that like button. By hitting that like button, it shows me that you guys like the secret hidden things hidden throughout the map and that when the game is fully released, this is the kind of video you guys want me to make. So if you enjoy, hit that like button. But without further ado, let's get in to talking about these Easter eggs. One of the oldest Easter eggs in Call of Duty history is the teddy bear Easter egg. It goes all the way back to Call of Duty 2, where a teddy bear was hidden on the campaign on a shooting range. Now, in present day Call of Duties, they're all over the place. Multiplayer maps, zombies, you name it. It. Now, if you're playing on the map Point to Hawk and you go back to the one corner of the map known as the farmhouse and go upstairs, in the one corner of the house, there is an area dedicated to almost like children's toys. And it just so happens that one of the children's toys is a teddy bear. A teddy bear dressed up, but a teddy bear nonetheless. Now, this is the only teddy bear I was able to find on any of the multiplayer maps but it's a teddy bear nonetheless. Will it be on other maps throughout the multiplayer? I'm not 100% sure, but without a shadow of a doubt, this is the first teddy bear we have found in the World War II multiplayer. Now, the next four Easter eggs are going to be on all four of the maps, and they're all Spotify barcodes. And what they are is if you go on Spotify, you can scan a barcode to download a song. Now, each map has a Spotify barcode hidden on it, each of which is labeled folder A, folder B, folder C, and folder D also known as Intercept Abel, Intercept Baker, Intercept Charlie, and Intercept Dog. Now, we're going to listen to all four in order, and I'm going to show you where to find all four on all four of the maps, and then I'm going to talk to you about what each of them mean. Now, Intercept Abel is found in Gibraltar. Now, if you go to the area known as the Fort Arch, which is also close to one of the spawns or the A flag, you can find the Spotify tag right here. When you scan it, well, like I said, it gives you Intercept Abel, and this is what it sounds like attention attention we who are prosperous must break all ties i repeat we who are prosperous must break all ties if you can hear this transmission répondez s'il vous plaît the leopard spot are now in motion vive la résistance So as far as these transmission goes, there's a lot of theories involving them with zombies, and there's a lot of theories just saying it's relating to the campaign. As far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure it's just to do with the campaign, but it's kind of hard to say. Now, as far as the important parts of this transmission, so this is obviously a French lady speaking, and she is part of the French resistance. The reason why I know that is because at the very end of the transmission, she says, vive la resistance, which means long live the resistance, and that was kind of like the catchphrase of the French resistance. And then the other interesting part is right at the end before she says long live the resistance she says the leopard spots are now in motion and that is very clear that that is code for something also at the very end the morse code is just saying you over and over and over again so intercept baker is found on the map point to hawk and it is actually right underneath the teddy bear that we talked about earlier so if you once again go back to the farmhouse and look underneath kind of where the sink and mirror is you can see once again a new spotify tag this is what this one plays dispatch received action this one argentin i breaking all ties please advise on operations order focus on tiger's eyes and ears or her stripes. So this one was a little bit more broken up, harder to hear, but right at the beginning he says dispatch received, action is an Argentin. I don't know what that exactly means, uh, that after that he says breaking all ties, please advise on operation orders, focus on Tiger's eyes and ears or her stripes. 
So once again, the first transmission was talking about the leopard. This one is talking about the tiger. Something to do with these cats. And then if you're wondering about the Morse code at the end, this one is just W's repeated over and over and over again. Intercept Charlie is found on the Arden's Forest map. Now this one is in the bunker. It's really easy to find. Probably the easiest to find out of all of them. And this one's really cryptic. Out of these three so far, by far the most cryptic. And here's what it says. All spots should target the stripes. Reports confirm tigers are most susceptible when they are drinking water. All those who are prosperous, break your ties from now until the leopard wakes. We fight together. Pour la main patrie. Pour le monde. So after this transmission, there's pretty much two things that you can assume. The first of which is the French and British are working together. We kind of knew that before we heard these transmissions. But tigers are the axis. Tigers are the Nazis. And the reason why we know that is because both transmissions from both people are talking about attacking the tigers in certain ways, which is historically accurate that they were attacking the Germans or the Nazis. Now, it also says in this transmission that all spots should target the stripes. So as far as what spots are, spots are on leopards. Leopards are now the allies. The axis are tigers, and the tigers have stripes. So the leopards should target the tigers. And after that, it says the tigers are most susceptible when drinking water. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it's something to do with the timing of attacking the Axis. It could actually have something to do with D-Day, because when the tigers are near the water, hence D-Day, that's when you should attack them. Possibly that's what that means. And then after that, it goes into saying, break your ties, which is the second time we heard that, from now until the leopard wakes. Once again, we assume that the leopard is the allies, so until basically the allies rise. And then after that, it says, we fight together, pour le monde, which in French means for the world. And then the Morse code on this one is just bees repeated over and over and over again. And finally, the most recent intercept is found on the new map, Ashens. And this one is found back in the theater on the far spawn. And this one, once again, is extremely extremely cryptic. Here's what it says. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. The prosperous have broken all ties. No tiger will make it north before the leopard wakes. The spots are on the move. Your prosperous stand 30 kilometers away. All ties severed. We pray for Neptune and await your arrival as Mother Tiger sleeps. So based off of what we learned off of the third transmission, we can actually really understand what he's saying in this transmission. For example, he says, no tiger will make it north before the leopard wakes. In other words, no Nazis or no Germans will make it north before the Allies do. And then after that, it says, we pray for Neptune and wait for your arrival as Mother Tiger sleeps. So as far as we pray for Neptune, I don't actually know what that means. But as far as we wait for your arrival as Mother Tiger sleeps, it could mean one of two things. Either we want you to arrive at nighttime while the Nazis are sleeping, or we wait for your arrival once the Nazis or the Axis are slain, sleeping, meaning dead. Death. I think it could mean either of those two things, but at the end, when it plays the Morse code, I believe it's playing two letters this time, a G and an H. Now, if you take all of the letters, a G, H, U, B, and W, and try to figure out what word that could make, as of right now, you cannot make a word out of all of those letters. You can make them out of a couple of them. For example, you could use B, U, and G to make the word bug, but you can't use all of those letters. So what we can assume is that either they will put out another map in the beta that has another Spotify code with Morse code, or every single multiplayer map, once the game is fully released, is going to have a Spotify code with Morse code at the end of it, and then we'll be able to make a word or a sentence or something along those lines. But until then, all we have is the current transmissions and the certain bits of Morse code we have already. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, it would be fantastic if you'd hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as we are going to follow these Morse code and these transmissions through all the way until we figured out exactly what they mean. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace out. We are, we are rich
searching for the stars, but we're making. 